there, welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Airfix's brand new tool, 148 scale. This is the Bolton Pool Defiant Night Fighter Mark One. Now they call this a Night Fighter Mark One, but this is purely because it sucked, quite frankly, as a day fighter. Um, the whole point of it being was a turret on an aircraft. You can see the idea behind it. It used to get in the middle of a bomber string and then could just shoot at all the planes. Great in theory, actually it wasn't a very good idea because very quickly German fighters realized that this thing had no forward firing uh, defense. So you could just attack it head on and shoot them down. So this is why it was then basically uh, resigned to doing the night fighter role and then it wasn't exactly brilliant. So it ended up being a training aircraft and I do believe in the search and rescue role uh, throughout the rest of the war. But it still makes for a very interesting uh, subject. And you can see down here doing its role uh, of what it's really designed for doing is where the actual turret on the top could actually shoot uh, underside of aircraft or to the side or whatever working in cooperation with the pilot uh, steering the aircraft around so as you can see a couple of markings down on here quick run around the box not to be honest too much to see on here as you can see kit number for this one is a05132 and then over on this side we can see we've got two versions down in here so we've got 151 squadron royal air force uh, wittering uh, england february 1941 and then we've actually got uh, the number 264 squadron raf uh, devon uh, Biggin Hill, uh, December 1940, uh, and through to February 1941. Okay, so in the box, which is still sealed, haven't seen in here whatsoever, totally new to me. So we'll have a quick look in here. Pop that down there. Okay, Airfix as usual way, one bag wonder. Okay, so we just pop that down there. First of all, we'll have a look at the instructions. Okay. Usual a bit of spill, which is basically what I just said, <laughs> down here on the front. Okay, and then usual way of airfix is actually quite comprehensive new style of instructions. I am liking them. Okay, so seat being fitted into one of the bulkheads, and then obviously some of the parts being fitted on. Floor pan being fitted through, and obviously the little skid plates uh, for over the, the rudders, and then various fuel tanks items and things like that being added down on the inside. It does look like we get a little bit of framework, uh, as you can see down here as well, for the actual cockpit side walls, which is nice touch and then obviously the rudder pedals and control stick being fitted in it's quite a basic turret system that's going to go on the back here which then drops in from the top so as you can see a lot of this is just the cockpit area for the moment instrument panel being fitted in there looks like it's going to be a decal fit for the instrument panel but obviously you can dry brush your own one in if you wanted to and then obviously we've got this plate in at the back which is going to be the mount for the actual turret itself and then two halves going together pretty straightforward so far couple little things to take out once you've got it into position this will just make it uh, the correct strength and things like that otherwise if you try and do it singly it won't but that's what it's saying about taking that out so you do end up with a complete uh, ring system then for actually dropping the turret down into wing section next so we've got a one piece uh, lower uh, wheel well section that drops down into the forward or the mid section of the actual uh, uh, bottom of the uh, wing spar and then obviously some Actually, I presume these are just strengthening because I say it doesn't have guns. I was going to say perhaps it's areas for the guns, but seeing it doesn't have them, it's obviously just spar systems being put in there to strengthen the actual wing system. And then these are going to drop down into there, as you might imagine, just going through. Okay. And then over to the other side, we've got top half of the wing system being fitted onto that one onto the other side and then one piece then pushes up from the other side looks like we do have poseable which is very nice touch with the actual ailerons being fitted down in there 15 degrees of movement cooler radiator being fitted to the underside right the way through being done tail planes being fitted and again nice to see we've got tail and um, tail rudder and tail planes four degrees of movement on those as well 20 degrees uh, upwards and then 10 degrees downwards and then 25 side to side on the rudder very nice indeed and that's hopefully our decals. Then we've got, we can stand that up one second, falling over. There we go, engine cow over the top, no engine unfortunately, tail wheel being fitted. If you are doing the doors shut, again, one piece door system right the way through. If you are going gear, obviously undercarriage, various things being fitted down into there. Looks like we've got a hub system, which is quite nice, easy painting for doing the tires. Looks like it's weight on wheels as well, which is again, very nice touch as well. So just showing, makes it squat better and the tire looks like it's got a little bit of compression onto that one. And then obviously doors being fitted for the actual gear itself. Then we're back to the turret. So all the workings, uh, as you might imagine, we've got oxygen bottles, things like there. 
all the gear the guns and everything being fitted in for the turret glass work being fitted onto there as well and then more glass work again for the actual uh, pilot uh, with the actual looks like an armored plate perhaps behind in there and then obviously exactly the same depending on which way you're going to have this thing and facing if you're going to have it open or closed the glass areas then the turret is a straightforward drop fit right in and then you're actually adding further shrouds around the back uh, onto these and then I assuming depending if you're having it done uh, up or down on this one does it matter yes it does so you do have the system where you can have it up giving it slightly better aerodynamics obviously on the front here being showed in the up position so it's in the stowed configuration or in the fighting configuration obviously with it uh, depressed uh, both areas so obviously the guns can swivel 360 degrees around without well basically cutting the pilot in two Prop at the back, uh, at the front, sorry, being fitted down into that straightforward pin drop one into there. And then down under here, looks like we've got a step uh, for actually a boarding step as well onto there. Obviously, it'd be depending uh, how you're having it situated. No system pushes through, exhaust shrouds on. Nice to see we've got detailed landing lights with glazing down in there as well. Pito tube being fitted in. We've got obviously an aerial for down below as well. And then depending on which version you're going to do, if you're going to do a stowed aerial, or uh, actually down as well, eight millimeters or 14 millimeters. Again, a very nice touch. Then we've got your markings, which is black on black on black. But we have to say really nice bonus points from me because clearly it's got a shark's mouth. So absolutely fantastic with both of those. And again, pretty standard markings right the way through. All right, so as you can see, very nice. Stencil data on the back, pretty minimal as you might imagine on something like this, but it is shown. Decals are pretty good. I must admit, Airfix seem to recently got their decals very nice mixture of being good registration, good solid colour, but also the thing is, is that they have this thing where before they'd be quite grainy, these are actually beautifully printed, no problem at all, and it's a nice balance of being a satin finish, it's not too flat as the older ones were, was always my complaint, they were too flat uh, or they were too glossy, this is that nice sort of satin finish, so I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic on your paintwork as you can see, so really no problem with any of those at all. So we just pop those in there out of the way. Again, one giant bag. And when I say a giant bag, we're not kidding. That's a huge bag. Okay, so. We have got clear parts. And then actually very nice. Actually, this, oh no, it is separate. Let's have a look at the fuselage first. Yeah, amazingly, I wouldn't say this is Airfix's plastic. It doesn't look like Airfix's plastic. It doesn't feel like Airfix's plastic, but it clearly is out of an Airfix box. But if you showed me this, I would never think it was theirs. It seems to be they've stepped it up. This is the very hard Hasegawa-esque type injection molding. So it's crisper, finer, sharper details. And that's testament for down here around the actual engine, around the cowling the actual details are very very sharp yes it's got scuffs and scrapes all out of it because it's in one bag which is my normal pair hey you can probably see them you know you catch them in the camera this is what i complain about all the time but i have to say it is very very nice some of the injection molding is a little bit close you can probably see here we've got a couple of white marks coming through but we'll have a look at those in detail but generally fuselage halves you can see very very nicely done the panel lining may be a little bit overdone maybe just for a little bit of the scale but actually looks very very nice indeed then we've actually got the actual floor for the cockpit this is that turret section that's going to go up some of the details the tires look absolutely beautiful have to say really nice these wing boxes as we know but over here you can see a little bit close on the injection molding ejector pins doing their job but actually they are very close to coming straight through the wing but you can probably see at the back here we've got catch it in the light some very nice details indeed no problem with that internally we've got a couple of ejector pins maybe encroaching down into areas but nothing that's in the way or going to show up or anything else like that so actually i have to say that's very very nicely done and actually taking me a little bit by surprise with the quality of that the wing sections again good solid construction no problem I would have to say I'm thinking that maybe just the panel lining is a little bit heavy uh, for my liking but what we do like is down here on the rudder section you probably catch it we've got the fabric effect looking very nice it's actually got a grainy texture like a fabric would have rather than the metal side but if we have a quick 
close up look you can see catching it in the light some really really very nice details on these we'll have a look at that wheel well section in a section but you can see good details on the wing no river tim but for this go i think that's fine down here this is the inside of that all important wheel well system that's pretty nice as well no problem at all with that one and you can probably see as well we've got the ring and the pin as i call it section so this is how these are going to go together now it's actually a nicer fit than the old-fashioned just a single pin these can be a little bit troublesome sometimes these ones though because if they're not cleanly molded they can give you a little bit of grief when you're trying to get them because obviously these here are going to marry up with these in here and if it's not good then you can have a little bit of problem so it's always worth just checking that those are clean just before you come in but that's really nice indeed then we've actually got the gear doors open close and all the small parts on the guns and things like that down here really very nice indeed if we have a, a closer look around as you can see on some of these parts very nicely done the guns as you might imagine for the turret actually that is really very very nice and even on the blind side good jobs on all of that one no problem at all very nice indeed and then last up we've got the prop and again cleanly molded we've got a little bit of sink marks but it's nothing on anywhere you would worry about at all and i have to say things like you can probably see down here we've got the instrument panel looking really nice there's no sink marks in the props or anything else that we tend to be a bit used to we've got the actual areas down in here the pipe work with the actual uh, foot area the exhaust stack the gear all very neatly done we've got obviously some of the mechanics and the grips for the gun turret things like that rudder pedals really very nice and this is your internals for the uh, side walls of the cockpit again pretty good stuff i have to say very very nicely done airfix i don't know who's molded this one but they get my seal of approval because it is a very nice job indeed okay can't get in the bag so we'll cut our way in clear parts look pretty good i have to say again very very nicely done indeed very clean crisp clear parts all of these even this one at the front is a curve and it is beautifully done nothing wrong with any of those clear parts whatsoever very very impressed airfix this is probably some of the clearest clear parts i've seen even though we have got there's always something that has to spoil it just down here in the top you might notice those two little dots they're in the molding but this is probably going to be specific to my one and not everybody's but it's a shame because the rest of it's absolutely perfect and there we go i have to say i'm impressed you know me i am still an airfix fanboy at heart i love everything airfix do they are my childhood thing it's my country and all those things that make airfix good but i'm also the biggest criticism of some of their kits poor quality poor design you know it's just poor execution all the way through but recently airfix's latest releases i've just got better and better and better and i have to say if this is the way that they're going to be doing their plastic from now on it is that thing of it's sharp it's crispy sounding plastic it's easier to work with i think it gives better details than the softer molding that we've seen in the past and things like that so if this is airfix's way that they're going to be doing things from now on with this level of detail and everything else i'm going to be a very very happy person indeed so there we go that's airfix's brand new 148 scale bolt and pull defiant night fighter <laughs>